should have been done by the authorities to prevent this. Uh, this was uh, a violent relationship. Uh, just shortly after uh, the double murder took place, I spoke to neighbours uh, who knew Tareen uh, and Ranim as a couple, and they said that they had called the police on several occasions because they'd heard arguments, and they were fearful for Ranim's safety. Uh, we now know that there was um, some kind of restraining order had been put in place as well in the days uh, leading up to the murder against Tareen. And, of course, those phone calls, uh, a number of them made to police uh, on the night of the murder, and, in fact, Ranim on the phone to police as she and her mother were fatally stabbed. So questions uh, for the response of the authorities to this. There is an independent office for police conduct uh, investigation still underway into West Midlands police uh, response. Uh, at the moment, legal argument going on between the prosecution and defence on the, the basis of police resolved. Uh, we are expecting Jan Bazterin uh, to be sentenced today for this double murder that he has admitted to. Uh, and as I say, the judge telling him that under any going to get is going to be very, very considerable. Well, good afternoon from Westminster, where this afternoon Theresa May is to reject growing calls from MPs for a second of the UK's Parliament for another public vote as to address the Commons later this afternoon. Mrs May says it would cause people's faith in democracy. The message that's been echoed by some of her cabinet colleagues this morning. Well, I think the Prime Minister is absolutely right to rule out a second referendum. We ask the people to decide. Uh, they decided. They've put their faith in us. We mustn't let them down. We have to deliver on Brexit, and that means we can't uh, come up with something else in Parliament. We have to deliver on that result. My first point is that we need to get the withdrawal agreement through Parliament, and that has my full support, and I hope that the Prime Minister will get the amendment changes that some After that, we need to find out where the Parliament is, where the majority of in Parliament the table, we should consider all options. Assurances she believes and that discussions are continuing with the European Union. Well, joining me now is the Conservative MP and member of the Brexit Select Committee, John Whittingdale. Uh, welcome to you. Uh, do you think this is the right focus for the Prime Minister to come to Parliament again this afternoon and say, no way am I going to back a second referendum? Well, the Prime Minister always comes and gives a statement to Parliament after a meeting. But in this particular case, well, I think there have been speculation about calls for a second referendum, and I will very strongly support the Prime Minister if she gets up and says that that is not an issue. We've had a referendum. The outcome was very clear. The debate now is how we deliver it. How, long, how strong do you think the pressure is, though, uh, does appear to be growing because of the stalemate in Parliament, uh, to put it back to the people? Well, I think there is pressure from pre people who never liked the outcome of the first referendum and want to try and reverse it. But the people uh, who voted Brexit, uh, who were the majority, I think would be rightly appalled if the government turned around and said, well, you got it wrong, so we're going to have to go and do it again. But the problem is it's kind of catch-22 because it's people like you who back uh, Brexit, who don't back the Prime Minister, who are opening up the possibility to uh, there actually being a second referendum. Well, I hope that we can find a way through this. It's obviously very important we do. What I would like to hear from Prime Minister is that she is continuing to exert every effort an assurance, a legally binding provision from the European Union, which will allow us to leave the backstop and that we will not be trapped permanently in it. And then alongside that, we do need to be making serious preparations for the possibility so of a no-deal.